We're gonna be watching War 86. This is part one, episode three. First of all, I just wanna say I forgot last episode that I have better subtitle files that was just sitting there in the folder, and uh, I forgot about them. <laughs> so uh, sorry for using the Ember Rip for that one. And then three, four, and five will not have the T subs as they call it from the people that uh, were helping out Tiabu, another great channel. But another, I mean, a way better channel than me. So check that out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they also react to 86 and the subtitles that were created by their Discord is what I'm using. So, that's the thing that I'm going to do. But for now, we're not going to do that because this is episode 3. So, episodes 1, 3, 4, 5, and 12 will not have those subtitles. And we're going to use the this, whatever this is. This is the Ember Rip. I forgot exactly what the subtitle was called. It's called... It's called... Akantai? I don't know. I think that's it. Uh, yeah. So... Last time, let's talk about last time. Last time there was a lot of. I was about to say death. Not, not, no one really died. But uh, the first mission with Lena and the spearhead that happened, we got a lot. We got to see a lot of the spearhead, not just in action, but them just being chill in their own in their own lives. And we got a history lesson. It's horrifying. <laughs> I didn't fully get it the first time I watched it, but uh, I think I got it by the time I was editing it. So. <laughs> So, okay, so basically, we're throwing these other kids, the ones that don't have white hair, because racism and xenophobia, hooray, and we're throwing them into war against the Legion, which are like drones that came to, that uh, they're kind of went haywire, and they're, now they're attacking the place. So, they're basically keeping the 85 sectors safe, while themselves are considered to be not human. They're basically subhuman. And yeah, it's a, it's a fucked up situation and I'm starting to realize how uh, there's some similarities to it in Code Geass. And I love that show, don't get me wrong, but it has a lot of issues. And when I realized that, it was like, Code Geass has a lot of issues. I hope we kind of, this is uh, a lot better. Uh, even though Code Geass has a lot of issues, I still love that show, especially the ending. Oh god, the ending. <laughs> so, is that it? I think that's it. There's gonna be two versions of this reaction video. A picture on picture version which you can find in the description below. And a timer based version which you're watching right now. If you want to sync up your own media to the timer based version, you can do that with a 5 second countdown. It's gonna count down from 5 because that's what they do. And a 0 is the same frame that my videos are playing on my screen. Timer will go here. I need to... Excuse me. Timer! Hopefully I try to remove that sound. If I remember. I usually forget. <laughs> Sorry! That was a gross sound to make. Are we focusing on that? Looks like an eighty six. Yeah, an eighty six. Hey, OP. By the way, leave your comments down in the description. I'm gonna read some of them out loud and respond to them in this in the next video, I think. Yeah, that's how I usually do this. Either episode 4 or episode 5, I start doing that. So, yeah. Especially if there's a lot of comments. And there's quite a bit of comments in this one, considering the fact that I have 700 subscribers. Like, 5 comments in one video is a lot for me. <laughs> so, if you're watching instead of baby, please check out the YouTube channel. That's where the discussions are as well. Am I gonna be correct about everything? Probably not. But uh, I wanna throw up my ideas out there. Thank you to the Patreon's things at the beginning and end. It, uh, yeah. If you want early access and all that, Patreon, all 8 shows that I'm currently watching. Am I watching 8 or 9? I'm watching 8 that have early access. The ninth one is My Hero Academia, which I'm watching as it airs. The 3D in the show is really good. I think I said that in episode 1, but that's the one, the, one of the first things I noticed. We're at a point with 3D in anime that they're usually either decent to great. I, I haven't seen like mo like recent anime that has terrible CG. Okay, that was a lie. I've seen that in one anime I forgot the name of, but I dropped that show as an Isekai and I forgot what the name was. Leandel, something like that. Yeah, had horrible, horrible CG. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. I think the cat's scared. What is he making? Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna peep. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I was right. They're gonna peep. <laughs> you make a good point. Let's do it. Sorry. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Their faces. Not come up power. Are we gonna get fan service? No, it's not that fan servicey actually. <laughs> I'm gonna forget all of your names besides for Shin. Shin and Lena, I won't forget the- I already forgot Lena in the last episode, so... <laughs> mm hmm Yeah? What is up with this frog? Why is it looking at them? It's a cultured frog, that's why. Oh! She like Shin! Nice. He's mysterious! He's a mysterious, good looking boy. What's not so- Oh, fuck. <laughs> They're right there, I saw three heads. <laughs> They're talking about- <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> that is very soon, Dele. Thank you. Yes, she is. Korena. Let's try to remember that. Bounce. I think she's gonna die next. We, we're making a connection with her. <laughs> of course. We're gonna stone you to death. You know you guys can get hit with stones there, right? <gasps> that was a knife! <laughs> oh! Yes, mommy. Sorry. Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> How old is she? Like 16? <laughs> yeah, they noticed. Oh! Wow, that was a clean hit! Beeping. <laughs> We're telling you that food is ready. Oh, they can use the power raid within each other? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that makes perfect sense. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was right. We, okay. Yes, you did. <laughs> like, they're kids. They're kids, and that makes it way worse. Ah! Ha ha! <laughs> oh, 
we're making a connection with Purena. She's gonna die. Oh no! Oh, wow. Um. <laughs> Wait, what? Ah. I don't think she will. <laughs> the white pig. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna ask, uh, not ask, I'm gonna theorize a bit later. Why are you focusing on the woman? Just to show, like, motherhood, maybe? Because we're talking about parents? Oh. Echo. Oh, ah! my controller fell down. I'm sorry about that. I'll just keep it down here, I guess. Nah, that. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hmm, okay. It's not really a job. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Hey, she's smiling. Light pollution. Yeah. Mm. Awesome. Of course, that's the question. I'm trying to make be roundabout about it. Joker. <laughs> that is a good point. <laughs> Do you win? <laughs> nice. It's a reaper. Hmm. Hmm. He's getting really mad. What 
is it? I want to die. That's the episode title. What is the date of you? So it's like a CG space of a library. But heck. Okay, why well, miss my voice, Lord? Hey, speak loudly, Jace. <laughs> Day of all. Okay, very European. Boom burst. Okay. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I want you for an army. Interesting. 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 I want to look at that again. Poster. That's a lot of dust. Uh, what are you trying to get? What is that? A map. Nice. <laughs> Okay. Hello. Is this the request? Hmm. That is a cat. I thought it was outside. What the heck? <laughs> HE shell? I don't know what an HE shell is. <laughs> Some kind of bullet. <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens with cats. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Good bed. That's a lot of names. <laughs> nice. So we <laughs> just keep changing the name. Yeah. Huh. I wonder if that relates to anything. Aww, you drew a cat. Oh. I honestly thought that was in my door. Really? Ah, oh, so this is it. So this is during that. Okay, we're just getting a different perspective now. I love the way we keep switching between perspectives like this. It's, it takes me a minute to realize where we are, but still. What is it? Good question. I'm trying to fight the system! Yeah, you were. That's in the last episode. Hmm. You're drawing him? Mm. 
Mm. Oh, that was a shot. Um. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> ah! <laughs> I get it because Sojo, Sojo. Oh, hey, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> that was that was a great way to bring about levity. Yeah, you're too nice. That's the problem. I mean, when you think about it, it's like it's like she's been thrown to spearhead in the hopes that she will be retired. Right? Should I fit? Okay, a few days after, okay. Mm. Nice. Is that why she needed the, the map? There's the levels as well. Nice. Oh, this one can destroy the enemy. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, Perkis, not the wishes. Fast. Too nice. <laughs> nice. This is undertaking, taking them down, down, down. Words. Oh, a song. Insert song. Someone's gonna die. Oh wow, wow! Whoa! Who's, who's that one? I, I don't remember their names and relating specifically to their code names as well. It's kind of confusing because they have two names or it, it, when it comes to Shin, he has three names and the cat has like five. <laughs> that means the cat is extra special. There's still a bit left. Still a bit left. Mm.
Yeah. This is harsh. I already talked about how they probably feel this way, but still, you're expressing it like this now. This is a very good shot, by the way, it's just, just, I can't speak. <laughs> that is true. <sighs> Talk about this episode? Oh, there's no flowers there. It's all this episode. It's really neat. Okay, uh, first of all, the ending bit was really neat. <laughs> By neat, I mean uh, it was very painful to watch. And this is a very good way to not just save the budget here with the animation, but they did a really good job of just showing Lena unraveling and just someone doing a really good job with the voices on the other end. Um, I talked about this already, how people probably just think that they're being high and mighty by saying that, well, I don't treat you like they do, but in reality, they're still the same people. I mean, there's a whole type of the hypocrisy of it, where it's not really hypocrisy, because the big the big story here is Lena is trying to make um, make changes. It's, she's, she went on to the school and tried to t tell everyone what is really happening, but she doesn't have enough power within herself to actually do anything. So, it just, it's, it's painful to watch, but it's very realistic because a lot of the time, uh, the kind of revolution that we want to have, the kind of, like, if you want change to happen, a single person with the right mindset is it's never enough. A lot of times it needs a group of a large amount of people, and even then it's really difficult because there are people in power that will try to hinder your movements. And... Uh, we're try I think the story is going in the direction where we're first gonna be very emotionally attached to the spearhead and Lena and then later on Lena's gonna have to try to find ways to actually make changes. And then there's also the fact that the real name bit is really interesting. I like that they said you don't even know our real names because Lena is genuinely trying to be a good person to them, right? Like I, I don't doubt Lena's intentions. To be perfectly honest. But the thing is, she's still raised here in the 85 sectors, whatever it's called. I forgot. It's, it's a very European name. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's still raised in the, I believe, sector 1, I think. And she's, she doesn't fully know exactly what is happening over there. Like, she knows details about it because of her life and because of the lessons that she's had and because of her age as well. But uh, it's... But uh, something like asking them for real names never occurred to her because it's probably never mentioned. She probably thinks that she probably never bat an eye on that because she never thought of it. And it's the system working against her. And even though she would definitely want to ask for the real names, she still couldn't because she never really could have thought of it because of her upbringing. <sighs> Interesting stuff, like I like this a lot. So many complicated things going on. I quite like this. Okay, uh, I believe we start with the opening. So, okay, um, I don't know if I should be glad or sad or mad that uh, we didn't show full on fan service. Like, this is still fan service, right? There's still, there's still a lot of jiggle and a lot of focus. Like, uh, there's certain, there's a certain thing that I talk about quite a bit, and it's the idea that to make to make the cleavage, you're just the ex extuation. I don't, what's the word for it? Exuberation. Ex the the fact that the boots are go like that. Um, <laughs> to make you notice that a lot more. Something that uh, animation does. Uh, anything in animation is to make give it a little sheen, <laughs> and that's what we did here. We just gave it a little sheen. <laughs> so even though they're not really entirely half naked, it's still kind of fan servicey. Just a lot of intent 
in, made with uh, with them being drawn in this in these attire. <laughs> so. I strive to be uh, uh, to have the mindset of an, a spearhead, a spearhead member. The idea that ev that any day you can die, everything is hopeless, and you are treated like crap. And I spat, I saw that on my camera, and uh, and you are treated like crap, but you still find little joys in life. I quite like that because uh, this the thing is, they're still kids, and when, when you think about it in a way. If you were to throw kids in this kind of situation, the more, the more obvious way of doing it, the more obvious reaction they would have would be that they would be, be very traumatized, depressed. Is that a word? Oh yeah. And uh, but then they just kind of learned how to live life. And I like the whole idea of tomorrow we could die, like uh, very literally, but also metaphorically in the sense that we're gonna live life to the fullest. So I quite like them. I like their little interactions where, yeah, they're still like 14, 16 year olds and they talk about stuff like their crushes and everything. And yeah, they talk about their crushes, the three boys tried to peep. Like, it's very slice of life y. <laughs> like, I can see this happening in real life as well. Not in real life, but in other shows where it's more happy than death and destruction and war. I like that uh, someone literally threw a knife at them. <laughs> the question is, what's a night visit? <laughs> uh, I wonder what they said in Japanese exactly. Because uh, they seem to have changed night to night with a K. I wonder what exactly they said in Japanese. But why does... Whenever we talked about the parents, we have a bit of a focus there on the painting, on the background, right? Yeah, it looks like a woman and a person behind her has a sword. Not entirely sure. I'm trying to figure out if that's uh, symbolism for anything. <sighs> All white pigs are scum. Uh, the idea of rats, though, is really interesting to me. Uh, it made me think that uh, the 85 sectors had uh, something where along the... Ah, frick. There we go. The 85 sectors uh, probably got rid of like uh, in those kinds of species of animals, like rats, cockroaches, and they probably don't see them anymore. <laughs> hmm. There's this weird sense of uh, uh, natural, the nature in the spearhead camp and just 86 in general. And how they have actual ingredients compared, like compared to eggs, right? Apparently, they couldn't get proper eggs in the eight five sectors, and that's why it was very special for Lena to have like a cake made out of uh, actual eggs. And it makes it gives me this idea that uh, we're trying to polarize these two in uh, in a different way as well. In the way that one is a technologically advanced civilization that has lost part of their humanity, and then this civilization, part of this civilization with a lot of ties to nature and they just hunt, they scavenge and everything and they have the full humanity within themselves. So I don't know if we're ever gonna get into that. Um, what else? Um, I'm not entirely sure about this, but is, uh, is, is area, is the sector 86 Supposed to be like a conquered area for the 85 sectors. Like, uh, it's a completely different place. I don't know. We do the same thing here. We just her slowly unraveling about the questions until she's asking. She's a virgin. I get it. Yeah, shoujo. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just kind of funny because uh, I didn't think we were going to have that kind of conversation. Uh, that kind of joke at least. I like that there's some levity in this in this uh, in the show, that um, it's not entirely serious. I mean, and the fact that all of the levity stems from uh, a lot of it stems from this idea of having normality in such a trying time. 
is really interesting to me. It's like, especially with the spearhead, where all of them are just having fun all the time, and then suddenly there's a, someone died. Oh no! And then we still have to continue life because that's just how it is. Ah, uh, okay. I think we need to live up to the example set by his words. That was a fire truck? I don't know. It's an decision studio to protect this country and proud of it. I think this is a drawing of whoever saved him, right? Like, Chibi fight, of course. I think we need to live up to the example set by his words. Hmm. Interesting. Because in, in that way, she's saying that the 86 should still fight. That's hard. That's implied. That is implied there. That's kind of messed up. <laughs> okay. We ask you to fight, but we don't even bother. Oh, there we go. But just the idea that we're throwing them out there, like people, like just kids being thrown out there. It would be a lot better if it was just like people who are trained to fight, people who volunteered to fight. That's kind of the thing, uh, and at least a lot of places, is that um, if you want to become a soldier, you can become a soldier. But uh, that means you're willing to actually sacrifice yourself for the sake of the better. For the better. And it's a, it's a conscious decision that you have to make. Where what they're trying to do here is that they're literally using people that are of different color or different, yeah, basically different color and using that as an excuse to be the one that they should fight with. So Lena, that's kind of, again, this is tying back to the idea of her upbringing. Like, she doesn't fully question in everything because she doesn't fully understand it yet, I think. Because it seems like she's still willing to throw them into battle. <laughs> that's, I don't know. Okay. That shot was really neat. I like that shot. Uh, there's something in 1335. 1325. I want you for army. Huh. Reminds me of that whole, what's that? Uncle Sam thing? <laughs> not American, so I'm not entirely sure if that's it. Okay, the. Mm. I do like that she tried to be better, a better help of them by actually taking the classified map information and helping him with it. You know what's really interesting about that as well is that no one seems to want to take it. Or I don't think anyone is using that as well based on the fact that it's covered in dust in that little library. Huh, interesting. So she's, she cares enough to do that. Okay. What else? What else did I talk about? Oh yeah, the whole version conversation. I want to talk about that. But um, your version. Of... <laughs> you know what's funny is that this is asked by someone that is probably a lot younger than her. <laughs> but yeah, the idea that she is so pure of heart. Um, the whole world's made of fields of flowers. Uh, what is her answer here? Untarnished pure ideal. You're not a bad person, so I'm going to one. Yeah. Yeah, that's that a very good point to bring up. Like, if, if especially the fact that they've accepted their fate, the spearhead, uh, everyone there pretty much accepted their fate, and at some point they're just gonna graduate from it once the Legion's over with, so yeah. <sighs> Someone who is pure of heart should never be put in the battlefield. That is a very scary thing to do, no matter, uh, I don't know, no matter the circumstance. Because uh, what's really ironic here is the fact that these kids are thrown into the battlefield. And I'm gonna assume that at the beginning, at the very least, they're very much of similar ideals with with Lena. They're very, they're very similar ideals because they're probably young as well when they did that. And it's a similar situation where Lena was given a promotion to major at a very young age while they were given the position to actually fight for the country at a very young age. So, again, the polarizing opposites of it is really interesting. <sighs> Anything else? Um, <laughs> I 
Lena doesn't give a crap about the rules and I love it. <laughs> okay, let's just go through reasons why Lena is great right now. Well, Lena, I thought she's gonna be... She's just kind of... No, no, never mind. Excuse me. Elena is very interesting. She is very brash in terms of uh, whenever she wants to pursue her ideals and it's quite fun. And she doesn't give a crap about the rules. She's just gonna say what she wants and do what she wants. But what's really interesting to me is that uh, when she was put into this position, wasn't she basically being put to death? Not literally, but like she, she's put into the one squad. She's gonna lead the one squad that is that caused people to kill themselves. So, <laughs> it's like, but uh, the uncle seems really nice, so I'm not entirely sure about that. But maybe it's not the uncle itself. Even the uncle actually said that uh, you're a lot like your father, you're actually a seriously than human. I want to know more about uh, her dad as well. I want some flashbacks on that, that'll be really interesting. What else? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, and done. And the whole speech about the, the end. Is this the same visual in the last ED? I'm not entirely sure. Mm. Why is there no flowers in this one? Right there. That's interesting. They had the lilies back then. Next episode is called Real Name. Interesting. Okay, I think we're done here. Um, if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion, I'll make it earlier than everyone else. You can download the Patreon link below. I just, uh, I just want to say first uh, before I put the outro out, I want to say that I'm kind of running out of time again. I have to do something tomorrow, very early, and pretty much the entire day. So I want to do two episodes, but I can't right now. I have to do other videos to make sure that they're up properly. So, if you want to see the next episode of the reaction and discussion, if you can and everyone else, you can do that on the link below. It really helps out if you don't have to, but if you can, please do. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all that fun stuff, and bye.